What up, what up, it's Dane and in this video I'm going to be telling you what's the easiest way to get ripped and I guarantee you'll be doing this shit wrong, you'll be stressing yourself out to the max. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video, right? So, first of all, I want to say this diet is not going to be the most, most enjoyable, but let's face it, which diet really is the most, most enjoyable? Not a lot. So, I was going to say step number one or tip number one, but there is only one tip that I want to give and I've already made a video on this before. Uh, but this is a complete different information I'm going to provide to you now. So this is in fact, I'm not even joking, not lying, this is the... Uh, I don't even know how to describe this man. This is the best tip to make dieting and get ripped easier and less mental, mentally stressed. And you can actually have your sanity back, right? So you don't need to think, oh, food this, food this, like what food, oh, can I eat this food, can I eat this food? I'm going to be telling you the easiest way to get ripped and just not worry about food way, way too much. So tip coming at you right now, and I guarantee you'll be stressing yourself out to the max. Basically, it's just to have the same foods um, almost day in, day out, right? It's, it sounds boring, but it gets the job done. And believe me, bodybuilders do this almost all the time. I guarantee you, if you speak to most bodybuilders, um, natural bodybuilders that are competing, they'll be like, yeah, I have these staple meals, I have this, I have this, I have this. For example, I'll use some examples that you could use, right? I recommend oatmeal and eggs for breakfast, like just the typical stuff, but as you as you might know or may, may not know, I do intermittent fasting, so most of the time I just eat the foods I really want to eat anyway and I store these way. But if you're not really into that, this is going to be great for you anyway, so. And plus you can use this in intermittent fasting because this means you don't have to track and weigh your shell all over again. So for example, you can use say 100 grams of oats and uh, 250 milliliters of uh, milk or something like that, that's one staple meal, right? So you don't need to keep like, tracking on fitness, but you already know, okay, that's 600 calories. Same with eggs, if you use six eggs, okay, that's 300 calories, right? So just using the same staple meals. And like I said, oatmeal, eggs, probably the main two primary sources I use in my diet. Um, yeah, I do. And then for lunch and dinner, they're always the same kind of foods. I normally have tuna, um, probably the most convenient, <laughs> quickest source of protein I can find, and it's so so quick. I can, you can make a meal over two minutes. I have tuna and a microwave rice, man. That takes one and a half minutes. Tuna, open two cans, takes about one and a half minutes. That's a meal in, I don't know, three minutes or something. So, tuna, um, lean meats, I always have, say, chicken breast. I have, say, one chicken breast. Obviously, the size varies, but if you can roughly eyeball it, so you have one and then okay that one's a little bit bigger maybe 50 grams more you know okay that's 400 calories so you don't need to keep keep tracking the shit obviously if you're a bodybuilder or something a fitness model and you need to get to low um, body fat uh, levels like eight ten percent ten percent is not that 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 low but it's kind of low you you might need to start tracking your calories right so you can't eyeball it exactly but basically what i'm trying to tell you is just just use the staple meals man like start with, stop buying like uh, takeaways um different foods from the shop every single time because then you have to learn how many calories is in a specific gram or whatever so that's just going to be way mentally stressing stressing <laughs> what the hell is that way mentally stressing and you're going to lose your sanity no matter what man it happened to me it's going to happen to you so use the same staple meals and that's what i'm going to be doing on my next cut you'll see and that's probably the easiest way i think to get ripped but then again i want to be using intermittent fasting so it's going to be even easier intermittent fast and then just eat the same staple meals like oatmeal and then probably i don't know ice cream because i'm allowed so anyway this video was how to get ripped fast and probably the easiest way in my opinion but as i said already i already made a video on this before explaining another kind of diet approach but anyway oh shit. without further ado make sure to follow me on all social media platforms I'd appreciate you subscribe to the channel, help me change more lives, help me help more people. And I appreciate you for, for you watching the video, even if you don't like and subscribe or you just don't want to really watch me anymore. I appreciate you for taking your time out. And anyway, more importantly, all of those things, the whole video, <laughs> stay positive, stay surrounding, and I'll see you in the next one.